Hello, here's another one today. I was going to talk about something entirely different, but this one came to my attention, um, and it needs to be said. If you haven't heard about the Trans-Pacific Partnership, if you haven't heard about that yet, let me introduce you to the Trans-Pacific Partnership. The Trans-Pacific Partnership is 600 different corporations across the world coming together and making a bunch of decisions that relate to the environment, what types of food regulations you're allowed to have, what you're allowed to eat, what you're allowed to say, censorship issues on the internet, how you're allowed to defend yourself, what happens with international fishing waters, all sorts of stuff, okay? And like I said, these are corporations making these bold, big, beautiful plans. And you know who's trying to fast track this? Literally, the program to get it through is called Fast Track. President Barack Obama is trying to fast track this so that it doesn't have to go before Congress, it doesn't have to go before the Senate, it doesn't have to go before anyone. There can be no media coverage of it and they can push it through as quickly as possible. The fundraiser for it, one of the fundraisers, or the awareness projects or whatever is tomorrow in Los Angeles and um, you know the the dinners are like I don't know something extravagant sixteen thousand dollars a plate or something like that to get the word out there about this trans-pacific partnership do me a favor okay you know, I don't care if you're liberal or you're conservative. I don't care. All right? Personally, I'm neither. Personally. Okay? But if you voted for President Obama because you wanted to get away from... from George W. Bush's cabinet, his reign... A lot, a lot of people called it where you have Halliburton and all of these other major evil corporations taking over and doing whatever with just stuff that they've stolen and then dishing it out however to make millions and millions and billions and billions and maybe trillions of dollars off of it. What did you elect with President Obama? Change? A change you can believe in? Change into what? Change into what? What are we changing into if we allow other people to control what's in our food? What are we changing into if we allow other people to take away our rights to defend ourselves? Not just with things like firearms, which is such a heavy duty topic, all right? If you ever understand anything about history, you know that it's bull, any argument that has anything to do with that because when a dictator takes over the first thing that they go is go to the registrar of weapons and they confiscate anything that is registered. That's the reason you have to register your firearms. It's the re reason you have to register yourself as a deadly weapon if you know karate. So that you're not a threat in case something heavy goes down, they'll come knocking on your door and take you away. That's the only reason. That's the only reason, okay? So now you have people controlling your food, you have people controlling how you're going to defend yourself, but also how you defend yourself with your words. They want to control the internet. They want to control what you're allowed to say. Now, Everyone can go on the internet and they can talk about a bunch of stuff. They can talk about a bunch of um, what so-and-so's hair looked like at this movie premiere. And they can talk about, you know, the, the latest movie that came out. And they can talk about, you know, gossip of blah, 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 blah. And they can talk about what they ate for lunch that day. And they can talk about all of the things that they want to distract you with, okay? Let's bring it back around to that. Let's bring it back around to that and make that a real theme, okay? What movie came out? What big movie came out this week? And they're just going to be blasting you with information about it. Hunger Games, right? 
Hunger Games. What do they call the conglomeration of the Americas together into kind of a one world new order, world order government together? What do they call that? That just controls all of these things and doesn't allow any of their citizens to have any control over their own lives. They control what they do. Completely fascist. What do they call it? They call it Pan-America. Pan-America. Is that that different than the Trans-Pacific Partnership? It sounds really nice, doesn't it? What's happening right now is the prelude to the Hunger Games. It's the foreword to the Hunger Games. It's the first chapter, the introduction. This is what you should be talking about. This is what you should be focusing on. You should look it up, learn about it, do something about it. Let your voice be heard. If you could take something as crazy as Facebook and saturate your voice through it, saturate it, guess what? The news networks wouldn't be able to sweep it under the rug. If everybody's talking about it, you wouldn't be able to sweep it under the rug. Don't let yourself get swept under the rug. Don't let yourself, your rights, who you are, your ability to choose to be who you want to be, don't allow that to be taken from you because you're distracted. Because your mind is in a position where you feel like you have to talk about nothing. Don't do it. Don't do it. The reason that I started this channel and the reason a lot of other people that I'm in communication with and all of these other folks start things like this is to try and make a difference and try and make sure that you get the freedoms that you want and you are in a position where you can do what you want with your life. That people aren't controlling you. All right. Don't allow yourself to be a puppet, especially with this, especially with this. Look it up. If you can get down there tomorrow, do it. Make your voice heard. Get known. Stand up for who you are. Because if you don't stand up, you're going to get knocked down. Okay? If you don't stand up, you're going to stay down. Don't let them take your life from you. All right. So hopefully this maybe makes the rounds, makes a big splash, makes a big difference. I hope that this is covered heavily in the news tomorrow. That's what I hope. I can't do it on my own. If you see this, send it around. Send it to people. Facebook something. Forward messages. Put things out there. Get people talking. Don't sit on the sidelines. Because you can't have freedom if you don't fight for it. If you do nothing, and you just sit there and you smile away. And you talk about how great things are and you don't fight, that is the easiest way for you to wake up one day and you don't even recognize the world you live in. If it's comfortable, you won't change anything. Everything else will change you. That's it. Trans-Pacific Partnership. The TPP. Do something about it.